Intel has gifted me these AI PCs, and I'm so excited for the unboxing. I'm Cassie Caldercroft, and uh, let's see what's in here. Not that way around. Ooh. Welcome to Dell. Let's do great things together. What did I get? I got a Latitude 5450. Let's see what's inside. Yes. Thank you, Intel. And what's in the other one? It's my first physical hardware unboxing video. You can see I've done this before. I don't even know which way around to hold a box. Um, so we're learning together. So in here, I have, whew, this one takes a bit more muscle. Uh, oh, also from Dell, again. One of these is heavier than the other. Cords and books and all the components. And I have one of these things right here. This is the Latitude 9450. This is going to be otherwise known as my purse laptop. Um, it's very sleek and cute. And it does that, which is really nice. It is an AI PC optimized for business. And I'm excited to show it to you. I've just done a whole bunch of setup and that involves logging into my uh, Microsoft account. And now I get to play with what's on here. So what have we got? We've got uh, things we're used to seeing, the App Store, folders, and Copilot. And since this is an AI PC, what should we have it do? Let's ask Crystal clearly, what are the advantages of NPUs. Okay. Okay, there are like turbo boosters for AI tasks. They excel in efficiency, performance, and optimization. So they are hardware designed for AI and machine learning. Uh, they are designed to be super fast. As there was more and more data and more and more computing power to process all that data, all of a sudden we could start automating things we didn't think were possible before. Okay, so that's the big promise of AI, but there's always a little footnote there. If you have the data, and if you have the hardware, the processing power, the computing power to get it all done. And that second part of the footnote, that's a big one. AI workloads are pretty heavy. It's time for proper customized hardware, NPUs. So these AI PCs, that contain not just CPUs and GPUs, but NPUs, N is for neural, so neural processing unit. Um, they are specialized hardware for AI. So they unlock the possibility of us being able to make use of all that wonderful automation. So Intel has designed these things with AI in mind, which as an AI person, I love. And so this is a love letter to that implied idea Yes, AI is awesome if you have data and if you have the hardware for it. And I'm pretty impressed. Intel's processors are available in a vast range of AI PCs. So this is what AI computing looks like now. We hang out and <laughs> book with one finger device. Um, that's their official name, right? Touch screen device. Here's the second one, and this is the Latitude 5450. I am really excited for them. I dubbed this one home, I dubbed this one travel, and um, I am so excited to play with them. <laughs> so in a nutshell, the quick thing to know is that privacy becomes trickier because models can leak your data when the inputs too closely resemble the outputs, which is the case with pretty much all of generative AI. So generative AI is special for that reason, Generative AI can leak data unless everything, the inputs, the outputs, the training of the models, all stays on one device, which is what these beautiful things are gonna do for me. So these things are a love letter to AI. 
And they're also a love letter to IT departments because without IT's blessing, AI in the enterprise is a non-starter. Yeah, individual workers may find themselves really productive by using all kinds of wild type AI apps on the internet, but that's not secure and that's not a good way for enterprise to approach AI. More security, more efficiency, more productivity, and you know, the kind of settings and options that an IT department will love. For example, the device is already set up to be managed by your IT department with the AI aspects in mind. And I'm pretty excited for some of the ISV apps that are co-optimized for these AI PCs, like uh, some of the ones I use a lot are Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. And so it's really nice that those things are going to be optimized for all the um, fun AI editing that I'm going to be doing in them. And so thanks to AI, we can do things that we never could before. This is the hardware enabling it. And we can actually do that practically and at scale in business, in enterprise, because we're able to do it in a secure, efficient, productive manner that IT departments will love. So I'm excited to play more with these, these uh, love letters to both AI and getting things done in enterprise. So I'm Cassie Kozerko. Thank you so much, Intel, for these uh, lovely gifts. And I'm so excited to discover what else we can do with them.